Hello friends, in this case I encountered a posterior capsule compromised towards the end of the FACO procedure with intact hyaloid phase. I like to describe how I got by with a very careful IOL injection that did not lead to enlargement of this posterior capsular opening. As I removed the final pieces of this grade 3 leathery nucleosclerotic cataract, there developed a posterior capsular compromise which was unnoticed by me at that point in time because it was not clearly visible. So while injecting the viscoelastic into the eye, I noticed the posterior capsular rent. You can see the clear opening in the posterior capsule. The vitreous did not seem to be disturbed, however there is a confirmation sign by which you can find out which I will describe later. Since I believe the vitreous was not disturbed, I just removed the tiny bit of cortex that was left behind. The rest of the cortex was removed during nucleus emulsification itself because of a good cortical cleavage hydrodissection. At this point in time, I had noticed the capsular rent and hence I did a careful viscofluid exchange to maintain the uh, pressurization of the anterior chamber while pulling out the phaco probe with the irrigation off. I took a careful stock of the situation. Now this is an important sign as you inject viscoelastic, if the viscoelastic only outlines the margin of the tear or the posterior capsular right, but the blob of visco is not prolapsing into the vitreous body, then it means that the anterior hyaloid phase is intact. Now this is a very important sign. Just see how I inject the intraocular lens. This is not in slow motion. This is done deliberately in a very slow fashion in order to implant the intraocular lens. As I start the injection initially, the haptic comes to the right, then it slowly sweeps to the left, after which I gently tuck the leading haptic into the capsular bag. As the entire lens gets delivered, the trailing haptic is also tucked with just minimal amount of posterior thrust into the capsular bag. This is such an atraumatic way of inserting the intraocular lens. I am definitely not going to attempt to go behind the lens to remove the viscoelastic. Instead, I clear in the viscoelastic from the anterior chamber. There is no sudden deepening of the anterior chamber. There is no abnormal blob of uh, visco in the anterior vitreous. All indicates that the hyaloid phase is intact. Let us see how this patient did in the post-operative period. St after stromal hydration, the case is concluded. This is the fifth post-op day. Patient has an unaided visual acuity of 6 by 6. You can clearly see that the IOL is in the back. That's the edge of the capsular excess margin that's made out. And the tear in the posterior capsule is so well contained and there is simply no enlargement at all. Now these are two edges of the tear that looked little interned. It would have been difficult to do a posterior CCC. And in so attempting, I might have just ruptured the hyaloid phase as well. Thank you for your attention.